It's the same. It's the same as when you just you kind of when it's time to create, you just for the, at least that's how I work. When it's time to create, I'm not like, what am I going to make? You're just like you just make, and then you sit back, and then you see what you have, and then you see how you can mm. work with what you made. That's great. Because I like to. I I think. I think if you think about what you're gonna create before you create, you you're not really expressing yourself anymore. You're just trying to organize, which isn't necessarily wrong, but that's not the field I'm in. That's fair. Yeah. I feel like you're kind of the same thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to. I don't know because a lot of what I used to do, especially with school and stuff, is they would always tell me, "Oh, you have this limitation and this limitation." Mm-hmm. Well, that sucks. <laughs> and so I would just be like. Well, what if I just like, cause so, I, so I would figure out ways around it, but even with the music I make now, it's like fucking, you know, it's, it's trippy, but it's cool. And I really fuck, I fuck with it, you know, like, mm-hmm. and you also have to fuck with, like, you have to know what you want. That's the first thing. Second off, you shouldn't give yourself limitations because then it's like, you know, like it, what I mean by that though is like, oh, I'm going to only play in this, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah yeah when people when people are like trying to decide what's like i don't know from a music theory perspective like what scale you would i i think i think choosing like modes or mm-hmm. or genre you're gonna work on yeah. before you work on it yeah. could be f- as so you could practice within that genre mm-hmm. but usually how you're feeling will automatically lean towards whatever genre is best to express yeah. the way you're feeling in the moment yeah I, I, I don't know. Like, it's, like you find like yeah. you do a, a genre, one genre, Bro, and stick I, to it? No. Because <laughs> you showed me like electronic shit. <laughs> you showed me like lounge. <laughs> Bro, the shit I make is fucking, it's like, it'll go from like shit, like, like the fucking thing I played at whatever it was. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, here. Oh, really cool. With like the fucking dreamscapes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? Having like, you know, like ambient, ambiance and shit. Like, you know, and then going from that. Yeah, this is very ambient so far. And then you add drums. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Like, I don't even think I actually played it. But I, I made this for another another event. But anyway, stuff like that. I go from that to fucking... Uh, so for the events, do you, do you produce it for the... Like, do you have specific, like, beats or songs you already have and you just want to riff over them? No, I usually I'll make stuff for the song uh, for the events. That's fire. Yeah, so like I I just did one for uh, not too long ago. I just did one for uh, for the youth Ottawa, like the spirit youth Woods. voices. Yeah, and uh, oh, youth Ottawa. Yeah, youth Ottawa. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the NEC and stuff, and uh, it was cool. And uh, but because of that, I was like, I want to bring back a song I played originally because I've done it a couple years now. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was like, okay, I want to play this. If I want to play it again, I want to play what I played the first time in person because it was like, it's more sentimental that way. Mm-hmm. And, and then the second one was like, I want to make a new song for it. So yeah. I literally used my creative juices and I was like, I want to make it. Uh, and I, I, it wasn't more of like a, a spontaneous thing in the sense of me wanting to because I was just like, I know what I want to do. I want to mm-hmm. make this shit. So in that, in those regards, it's not like a spontaneous thing, but forcing myself to get back into it. Cause I, I, I hadn't been doing shit like that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit. Like, I think the last time I actually like full on did shit was like 2020. Full on as in like consistently day, daily or full on as in like projects and. Well, like, because I was doing it for, for almost a living, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and, cause, and you know, like even through like 2020, but like 2020 was more, uh, like after my album and shit, it was like literally me trying to, because it, me, me making it mean and stuff. And then it ended up getting good because I, I was doing like a lot of, a lot of session work and shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, as soon as 2021 hit, it was like salary job, nothing else. Ah, I see. <laughs> it was like, the, like I was just drained because like, you know, and then I, I said to myself, enough's enough. Let me. Salary jobs tend to be very draining because once you cut, once you're done your shifts or before the shift, like yeah. before a shift, when you work like even part time, mm-hmm. uh, but full time specifically before the sh- like your life is more getting ready for work and mm-hmm. then. Like cooling down and getting ready for the next day. 
Yeah. In and, the evening. Yeah. You there's know. no there's no space for any kind of other leisure. No, not at all. It's just work. Yeah. <laughs> just, just preparing and cooling down from. For real, yo, bro, I wouldn't even have time to cool down because as soon as I got home, I have to wake up at five thirty. Then I have to go to work, and then I wouldn't leave work till five thirty p.m. Jesus Christ! And then I get home about six six thirty, and then I just teach until nine or nine thirty. And then you and just then, gotta go to sleep. And I gotta go to sleep. But I can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that was that was Monday to Friday every day, and then the Saturday Sundays was me catching up on projects and shit I was doing with people. Yeah, the weekend would be left to catch up. Yeah, the thing <laughs> is, it's not shit. like I don't have a partner, I don't have friends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I have to fucking, you know, like, it was ridiculous. Like, in the morning, I'd have to wake up at 7, I'd have to do shit till 9, or <laughs> 10, 30, and then I'd fucking be with my, my partner all day. Mm-hmm. And in between, when she's just chilling upstairs and stuff, I'd be like, yo, give me a second. I need, <laughs> I need a hit. <laughs> you fucking make some, <laughs> Does it feel like you're kind of like suffocating yeah. in those moments? Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. It's, it's yeah. traumatizing. Yo, for real. No. There's so many yeah. moments of, of like when, like, I don't, I'm pretty sure you had this where like you, you stop doing it as consistently or like for a week or two weeks yeah. in a row. Yeah. And it feels like your day to day things are like getting worse and worse and you're like your average state. Yeah. And then it like, it's not necessarily that you like you're, you're depressed or anything. You just always feel like something's off or something's missing. Yeah. And then, and then like one morning I'm like, Oh, let me do a a quick, like one hour session or, or or, like, let me just spend 30 minutes, like tweaking this beat and I do it. And then after I'm like, this is what was missing. Yeah. I haven't done this in two weeks. <laughs> you know, really Bro, that was me with this fucking thing. Like, both these horns fuck. Oh, my God. It's because I usually use this shit in my tracks and mm-hmm. shit. If it, sometimes I don't, but, you know, like, I I haven't played this shit in a while. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't play the, the tenor for a good two months. And it was Oof. like, and to, like, yeah, most people would be like, oh, it's two months, it's whatever. I lose all my fucking versatility and I lose, I have to. You become rusty. Well, yeah, I can't fucking be as smooth as I was. And, mm. you know, it's not my main either. Like, my main's the alto. And even though they're exactly the same, except like the, the, the starting pitch is a little different. It's just the, for me, it was just, it's a little bigger. And I guess because yeah, of that, it just ends up being a little weirder. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know the whole fucking thing. All I know is I was fucking rusty as hell. So, that's that's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it pissed me off when I couldn't play it. So I was like, you know, what? no. So in October, I was just like, hmm? I, I I literally was like, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I you know. Yeah, well, you know what? To be honest, it was more like, uh, you know what? I'll ask for a raise. If the raise is shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I was like, the only reason I was asking for the raise is because uh, the 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 uh, the job I was working. It's only summer, really, mm. but it's full time all year. So in the winter, you do jack shit. Mm. But the thing is, you still have to go to your place of work, right? Yeah, so, you still have to clock in and yeah, be there. And, fucking, but even if you're doing nothing there. Well, I'm selling stone and shit, like stone and interlock. That's what I was doing. Mm. So it's like fucking, bro, I'm having to explain what fucking kind of gray that is. Like, <laughs> like don't get me wrong. <laughs> Somebody's probably fucking passionate as hell about that it. That is more of a summer thing. Yeah, but, like, anyway, so I was just like, okay, I asked for a raise. Mm. They they were like, oh, we'll give you 2000 more a year. I go, I'm out. <laughs> In the most respectful way I could possibly do that it. Was kinda, that was kind of the same thing for me, too. Really? With how I quit. Really? For me, it was mostly because of the lockdown um, and, like, realizing that, like, you're sitting at home getting, what like, what was it, like, $1,000 every two weeks, but you don't go to work because it was, like, CERB, right? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, receiving yeah. CERB, and, you, and you're, like, okay, I'm, you're receiving $2,000 a month just being home. Yeah. And then you the world reopens, mm. and you have to go to work, and mm. you're making $300 every two weeks. <laughs> To yeah. to do way more because I'm retail. Yeah. Oh, this is H and M. Like this is oh, like fuck. this is like cashier folding clothes, cleaning oh, the store, fuck. running fitting rooms, yeah, and I you're doing that is. for like more than half. Yeah, <laughs> what you were making being home. So like something, I think something started to click, and I started to value like the, the leisure. Yeah, a bit more because like once you accepted that you couldn't go home, you realize how much leisure time you had. 
the thing that happened when people freaked out is people mm-hmm. e- either their leisure was was very social mm-hmm. so they didn't know like they didn't have anything to do at home like we do yeah. <laughs> we bro i could i could wake up ableton <laughs> stop ableton go to yeah. sleep yeah. repeat for oh. a very long time yeah. <laughs> but i was just at work one day and then i pulled a muscle I pulled a muscle on my neck because I was oh. yawning and then I was trying to stop myself from yawning. Oh, I pulled a muscle <laughs> and that muscle when you pull it on your neck, like it's so annoying and it kind of ruins your day for the rest of the day. Mm. So I just blamed all of it on the job. I was like, if I wasn't here, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> I put in my two weeks that shift. Really? <laughs> Did not look oh. back. <laughs> oh, I don't fucking not look back. Honestly, yeah, honestly, it's... Like, working for people is cool, I guess. Mm. I just don't see it from... I've never had. I've it's just... Had. it's just, Especially as an artist, you, I don't know. I feel like as an artist, you really value your time. Because you yeah. understand that, like, for the yeah. most part, you'd rather be creating. Yeah. And, like, exploring other people's work. Yeah, bro. And then doing your own work. Bro, my ADHD brain will go, fuck that. That, bro. too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you right now, like, this is why I fucking, I do the art shit. Mm. Because I, I, I'm actually quite good at a lot of stuff. Like, I, I hate saying it like that. Or only no, you, you it's actually, like, bro, you actually are. Like, <laughs> but no, like, you know, like, I, sometimes I make furniture and then sometimes whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I made the stand, like, not too long ago, or whatever. Oh, you made that stand? Yeah, yeah, this. Uh, Hard. It's, it's me, yeah. And then, like, I got, like, a, I'm going to make a, a, a coffee table in, 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 a couple, in a bit. So, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, but the reason I do that shit is to help me do this. It's weird as fuck, but it's like, basically, I have to be in so many artistic kind of areas in order for me to actually, like, soak in a way. Like, what triggered it all again for me was my buddy, uh, he made the splatter art there. Mm. Uh, well, one of them. The, re- the, the, <laughs> the wide rectangle one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he made that and he was like, yo, like, I hope this, like, helps you. I made this for you. I was like, bro, thank you. This is exactly what I needed. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he fucking gave that to me, I was like, bro, why don't I just go and get you find, like, uh, free shit and then just, like, cut it in pieces and stuff. So I, like, got these. And it's, like, wooden boards. And I paint on them. Oh yeah, yeah. They're always giving those out on KGG and yeah, Facebook. Bro. Yeah, it was fucking. It was all free shit. So I was like, "Bro, why?" That's are fire. No, so that's what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I like, I don't know. I I just do all this shit for me and like. But when it comes to this, I find that uh, sorry, that was loud. <laughs> when it comes to this, for me, it's like I want. I know I want this to be my work. Mm-hmm. But. I find that my brain will just not stay on the same thing for a long time. Mm. So because of that, I'll just be like, okay, let me just come up with some cool ideas and go to this. So it's like a constant back. So you're going back and forth. Yeah. And then I, the way thinking. your brain works, it kind of needs a break from it to think about it. Like it needs, a, it needs well, to step back a bit. Yeah. I wouldn't say a break. I would just say like a, or a different a- way to think. No, I would just need, it just needs a change in direction for a second. Mm. It just needs something. Cause my brain, personally, me, mm. like, I will go, oh, that's a cool picture of Bob Marley. Oh, why is that, why is that thing say Rokoto, or whatever? And then fucking everything's just going everywhere. So if I don't have something to, like, focus me in, it, it, I guess it kind of focuses me back in. It, zoned, it and keeps you zoned in. I guess, in a weird way. Because I'll be like, oh, that's fucking sick. And because I'm kinesthetic, too. So I'm like, those colors are fucking cool together. Why don't I fucking elaborate on those colors here? Mm. So then I'm just like... I think that's the word. Is kind of say I don't know what the fuck. Uh, it's it's People it's one of, it's one of them. <laughs> like it, when you see when you when you kind of like when your senses are kind of entangled. I guess yeah. Like I Do see you, colors and shit through music. It's cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that fucking thing. There's a word for it. Synthesis. Is it synthesis? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's synesthesia, synesthesia, but I'm fucking, something like I'm, that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Something. don't ask me to think of words because I'm just like some shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, so yeah. No but, man, uh, but that's basically for me too. It's like I'm, yeah. I'm, like taking control. Basically, just taking control of your time, yeah, and then guarding your time as much as you like. Yeah. So, 
the way I work now, I mainly look for like independent contracting mm. possibilities. Okay. So right now all I'm doing is just Instacart, which is crazy because mm. that shit makes actually pretty good amount of money. <laughs> and all you're doing is, is like shopping groceries for niggas. But the, what's cool, about, what's cool about those jobs crazy. is, really? yeah, Seriously. I did a bit before I came here. I made like, how much I made? Like 30 something in like an hour. It's not bad, though. An hour and a half. <laughs> and it's, that's the thing. It just depends on, on like, what you take. But basically, what's cool about that is mm-hmm. I could just be, like, working, and then I'm, like, I don't want to work anymore. Bro. And then stop. Yeah. Yeah. I could be, like, oh, I have 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Let me make, like, a quick $15. Turn on. Take take one. Yeah. Do it. It's, it's and, crazy. So, Bro. but it's very possible to do this shit for a living. Yeah, no. One, but it's just yeah. it's just a matter of like f- tweaking yeah. shit out. <laughs> well, to be honest, like I was doing this for a living before COVID. Ah, yeah, COVID did fuck it up. Holy Especially for it. like live performance, which is mostly what. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was about to go. In, I was so pissed. I was about to go on tour and shit. Oh. I was so fucking upset. It was my first ever tour, like on my own, and I was so pissed because it was supposed to start. Uh, Damn. Because I actually met one, one of the guys I met uh, at uh, one of the Congrego events. His name was like Mitchell Ha or something. Uh, anyways, mm-hmm. he was the only, uh, like, anyways, he came up to me after. He was like, bro, I love your shit, blah, 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 blah. We talked, whatever. Oh, sorry. And then, uh, and then um, I fucking communicated with him. He's like, bro, I have some friends that want to talk to you. I go, okay. So I <laughs> talked to this guy named Yusuf. And he's like, hey, I do, uh, I do ma- uh, like mansion parties and shit. And like, we have like, events in each room and shit and I want you to be like one of the events so I was like bro really and he goes 100% you're able to like they were paying for my housing and shit uh, bro I was supposed to be there for a good weekend and then after uh, I was supposed to play at like oh man I was supposed to play where was it the, the there was a particular uh, it was the Grey Hall no anyways a particular like a 600 room uh a 600 person room in uh, Toronto, like yeah. down, hard downtown. I was so pissed because I was supposed to do a, a, a tour on the way back. So, like, from Toronto, I was supposed to hit, like, all these small towns and shit <sighs> that I made, like, connections with. Anyways, was, I was pissed. <laughs> I was fucking upset. I, was, like, I would be. Bro, I miss, like. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah, but no, because of that, it got me doing online shit. So, I was on my phone and I was, like, looking at all these small artists and shit. And I'm like, I'm pretty like I was looking at people with labels and shit. I'm like, he's they probably need someone like because I was listening to a lot of their stuff and like I was like, why don't we just hit these guys up for some saxophone work and stuff? Mm. So that's what I was doing over like 2020. I was literally just doing that. So because of that, I would do maybe like eight to ten clients a month mm. and be able to make like three, four, three, four bands a month just doing that. And it was fucking fun. That's fire. Yeah, but it was just trash. As soon as it hit uh, March, <laughs> well, well, bro, yeah. like everyone went bankrupt. <laughs> it was fucked. Yeah, literally, like um, half the people I was working with over the summer, they were like, "Hey, the label cut us off. I don't know why." And I talked to the label. I'm like, "Bro, what's going on?" They go, "Yeah, we just went bankrupt. We're declaring bankrupt." I'm like, "Holy fuck!" So three out of the four labels I was affiliated with went bankrupt, mm. and I was just like. Well, fuck. Those were, those were all my guys for me. It's just gone. It was like, bro. It's it just, just like gone. A it was just like, well, now I'm working at Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking, yeah, it was trash. Because literally, it was so, I was so pissed. Literally, February was uh, past month. And then March. And then March, March just canceled it. Yo, wow. literally. Fuck, fuck canceling. That's an understatement. <laughs> Imagine just a single cricket in like a fucking... A quiet ass, uh, bro. That's how bad it was. It was just a fucking. It was bad. It was not to linger on the past, but that man, fuck that sucks, man. But no, it, it really got me thinking. Like, bro, music in person is not sustainable. To where mm. I'm able to because what if what if this shit happens again? What if something similar happens? Again? It definitely should. You know, like live live things. Not to say that they're like not sustainable. They are to an extent, though. 
like as anything like a lot of hospitality stuff got canceled there were so many things that got canceled yeah it wasn't just the arts but yeah still it, it made me think i'm like okay how do i do this so so now i'm trying to figure out ways to do it so i can do it for a living not have to fucking worry all the time about money and just do what i fucking love to do you know what i'm saying yeah the wearing the wearing of uh, money part is the most important thing to tweak out and i think a lot of people think it's a matter of making more money but i think it's just a matter of just lifestyle management yeah. partly lifestyle management and it's a lot of like mm. problem solving not in the sense of like stressed out like i don't this is a problem but problem solving in a sense of like I need to make it to next month or I need to, or not even that, but like just setting up in a way that you don't even need to think about it as much. Just cover everything. Yeah. As soon as you can live, like, I think as soon as, as soon as you can automate covering your bills, mm. that's like a big stress that's gone right away. Oh, yes. <laughs> bills and subscriptions. Yeah. If you can find a way to just from, generate the income the amount per month you're paying every month somehow <laughs> from there you're already a bit freer bro what do you like yeah honestly like right now i don't have to worry because you know i i'm pretty good at finance and stuff so yeah like me i'm technically not working at all in this so and but to be honest i'm not making much off of this right now that's okay though i'm yeah. expecting it so my my finances and stuff so long story short I also realized if I actually want to be, you know, like I shouldn't have to think about money. Mm -hmm. I should think about what the fuck I want to do. And then if money follows, money follows. If it doesn't. That's, that's the ideal. That's literally but, what you want to figure out. But I'm not, I'm not scared. Let of the money failing. just. I'm just, I'm just scared that I will regret not doing it. So I'd that's, that's just... the worst one, actually. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> Like when you like, think about when you think about that, like like especially something you absolutely fucking love and are obsessed yeah. with, yeah. and probably think about like twenty four seven. It's like yeah, this third chord, <laughs> this third <laughs> chord needs to. I could tweak this one a bit more. Yeah. Like you're that that's just your everyday yeah. like mental process. Like if you can just find a way to just just yeah. do that, yeah, and then everything else solving itself around. That's like the best. Well, bro, honestly, that's another reason why I'm going into stuff like real estate and just like shit like that because I'm realizing like that's also a good way. Because I don't know about you, but I've been realizing like, a lot of artists and shit, when they make their money, they put it into shit that invests. Right? Oh, yeah. So I was like, why the fuck am I not doing this shit? So <laughs> I was like, okay. So while I was at my old job, I was like looking for job for places and stuff. And I found out I could make a, like, you know, I could get a decent home or whatever. So now I'm looking at places like Gatineau and stuff like that. Yeah, Gatineau's a, a big one. And then renting it out. Literally, the, the land, the, the, the people who bought the house across from mine are yeah. doing that. Yeah. They bought it, like they fixed the house up, mm -hmm. and we thought they were moving in, but nah. Uh, renting that shit <laughs> out. <laughs> renting that shit out to some other people. Honestly, it's so problematic, but at the same time, it's like, like, yeah, it's one of the places that I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> If it's going to fucking help me somehow, I just, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, it's horrible. So I'm like, like um, my, my partner, she'll be like, you're a fucking asshole for wanting to rent out to people. And I'm like, I fucking know. I know. Okay. Man, like, listen, yeah. for me, the priority is, is, is making, is just being able to, to do what I want to do. Yeah. Ev like at the moment I want to do it. I don't so, like the idea of like you need to like the more scheduled you are, mm. like the more your time just belongs to something that isn't you. Yeah. The worse your life becomes. Like if you if you're yeah. giving like nine hours of your day to a Nick to someone you don't know, Bro. a company that you how you know doesn't care about you. Yeah. Especially like the yeah. bigger the companies like Bro. ancient like they fucking, retail, they don't care. You're replaceable. You're just a, you're just a, a screw in a machine. <laughs> bro, you're not even a screw. You're just a fucking thing that you're <laughs> like, literally. Bro. Cop, bro. <laughs> you're a ghoster, bro. Like you're <laughs> like so, and and there's no way. And then like you, and that's people complain about employees sometimes because they they're always like downers and they're like, but bro, you're doing a robotic job like five days a week, seven like how many 
50 weeks when you're full time, 50 weeks yeah. a year, two weeks vacation. Bro, like, how do you expect someone's spirit not to get sucked out of them? Bro, personally, I think that, like, before, like, you know, before 2000s, I think everybody was, like, in the state of just, I need to save and I need to make money. Mm. Or, you know, it was that, it was that push of, uh, industrialism and stuff like yeah. that. I think that's the word for it. Anyways, and because we're into the, the 2000s, people started to realize, I can actually do what I want to do. I don't have to, you know. We're at the cusp of that right now. Yeah. It's going to become crazier. Well, but yeah. people are starting to realize they don't have to. Cause I heard, uh, like, oh, 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 have you heard? Like a lot of, uh, drive through restaurants mm-hmm. are closing their drive throughs because they're understaffed. Yeah. Because people are quitting. I was about to say, and like, people are not hiring, uh, signs there are now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tim no, Hortons. It's all retail. So many. Yo, so now they're trying dogs. to figure out how to make. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Burger King, bro. Like the Burger no. King, I saw the man come out and put a piece of paper saying we're closing the drive-through because we're understaffed. It's no. like people. So so now what's happening is mm. I think what's gonna what ideally is gonna happen if we're if we want to speak like very optimistically about like technology mm-hmm. is there are many jobs that you've probably had in your, in your experience of having jobs where mm-hmm. you felt like a robot. They're going to be automated. You felt, you felt like this is a robot could do this yeah, because so of how repetitive it is. There's not that much nuance to it. Yeah. Like a robot could do this. Like with time, each of those jobs will become more and more replaced by robots. Yeah. I'm, I saw on the news drive throughs. I think there's a company, I forget which company, which, which restaurant, but they're looking into oh, making yeah. like automated drive throughs. Yeah. And those are cool. I just like, I think because of the l- larger population, people might go, Oh, well, how, how, how are we supposed to fucking sum? <laughs> how are we supposed to work and shit, right? Like, and I'm like, but that's, that's always the thing. People are always afraid that like they're going to lose jobs, but, but it's not a case. matter of it's, losing jobs. It's, it's, it's switching where to put priorities in. Place New jobs are being created. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just about finding those jobs, but a lot of people don't want to learn the new skill sets required because most of it's going to go to coding. You're going to be, it's going to be less about the person working at the drive through and more about the person coding the machine yeah. that works at the drive through. Yeah. And to be honest, that's also a good job in itself, you know, like, and that's a fucking, like, I mean, not to say that it's like fucking the best thing ever, but like, you know. That's but coding, good. coding leaves a lot of space for leisure because you can just, you can yeah. do a lot of automating via coding. Yeah, a lot of things don't necessarily true. need to be repeated once they're done once. Well, no, that's very true. Yeah. And well, also, unless, but unless eventually, at, like, unless you got people that like, you know, have to scan through it just to make sure that the code is all, is all proper and everything mm. and stuff like that. And just reference scanners and stuff like that. Yeah. But other than that. But I mean, that's all, that's all getting tweaked out over time. Yeah. I think so. I think eventually all the jobs that should be left or that will be left is just the creative jobs. So the ones that, yeah. that actually rely on the human aspect of, of creativity. I, I really hope so. So like, yeah. all that pe- all that's left is leisure. Yeah. So true. ideally all the, the labor people go into this if they choose to, yeah. but they don't have to. Yeah, that's fair. That's what, that's what, that's how I think it should be. You should have a choice not to do these things, but most people, a teenager trying to get their first job, they have to go through the shitty, yeah. McDonald's fast food oh, H and M yeah. robots yeah. job fucking stage. Go and see who bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking do the rotisserie chicken. But like yeah. that's that's fine when you're starting to learn about the the experience of working. Yeah. But you have to be able to get out of it once you're done. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Like there, yeah. people can't get out. It's so sad. We don't have the option. No. For, for most people, most people fucking have three or four jobs now because they can't fucking make a living just doing one or two, you know. Like if, even me, fuck, I was working a salary job, but I still had to fucking, I still had to fucking do fifteen hours a day for fucking it's fucked up. my music shit. Too, it's fucked right? up, bro. It's <laughs> super fucked up. Like at one point, I was working like three jobs because I'm like, bro, I have to make money somehow. I have to fucking you know mm-hmm. save. I have to fucking spend on shit. Not just music, fucking the house, the fucking you know, yeah, the whole jamboree of shit. So it's like so. Oh, bro. <laughs> eventually, like you, yeah. yeah, people get tired of having of having to survive when they yeah. put. Because the thing is, like, I think people who are living in survival mode are starting to get a sense of like, there is the world isn't on fire. 
Yeah. And I don't have to do this. So why? It's like a lot of people are realizing they were, they were conditioned to think they need to be on all yeah, the time. The school system, my friend. It's they fun. need to be yeah. on a schedule. Like people yeah. forgot leisure to, bro. Leisure time is where most of yeah. creative, like yeah. breakthroughs happen. You need space to think. Bro, I'm saying <laughs> it's so fun. Bro, yes. Yeah. Like, cause when I quit, that's when I realized I was like, holy fuck, like I can think now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. that's that made that's probably why Europe was so good because I quit my job to finish it. Oh, fair enough. So fair I enough. could I could live and breathe it. Mm, I see. My schedule was was open mm. to 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 doing whatever needed to be done for it at the time it needed to I be see. done. If I needed to link three people in a day, mm. I didn't have work, mm. so I could meet with this person right now, this person later, and this person later. Okay. So it allowed me to just like actually do it engage with the piece that I was trying to finish and finish it to my full attention instead of splitting it with work and Bro. trying to work on it whenever I get the time. That's crazy. <laughs> so you're 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 you can never go deep into it because you're always worried that if you go deep you'll forget about this to get ready for work. Yeah. Just you just can't focus. No. You can't like uh, speaking as a person who's fucking like like I especially yeah capitalist mentality fuck man like <laughs> bro it was bad it was fucking like how can I make money off of this how can I do this <laughs> like before I would have been like bro why don't I just sell my fucking works that I make and then just whatever mm. but now I'm like like it, I don't think like personally no. Like I do, yeah. this, is, this is for me. It's for you, yeah. It's not like if I want to commoditize. No, maybe, maybe, maybe that's not the word. But if I want to make make money through something, I want to, you know, I want to only do certain things. Mm -hmm. Like so, that was a big thing for me. Yeah. Like I'm like, bro, I wanted to do like. Like my head fucking crazy. I was like, bro, I want to make art. I want to fucking, I want to, I want to make clothing and shit. I was like, I want to, I want to make music. <laughs> and, then, and then my my partner, my buddy, was just like, yo, yo so the so, so fuck that, <laughs> bro, What do you want to do for real? And I was mm -hmm. like, but and then he was like, what do you want to do for money? Like, what do you, what do you think, you know, what do you think you could do for money that you've already been doing? And I go, well, music's an obvious. He's like. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Anything else? And I'm like, not really. Well, he's like, then just focus on doing that for for money, and then everything else. Just yeah. Do it for your own fucking pleasure. Because then once you once you focus on that from a, like you kind of, well, you, you you can look at it differently. You, you, you do, yeah, bro. I like if I were to think, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm being paid two hundred dollars to do this this uh, this piece. Mm -hmm. I would fucking draw a blank. I would just be like. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then I would just kind of like, it's not something you, it's not something you necessarily think about the outcome when you're picking up the canvas to, to, to do like, you're just, you just need to do, you're just making something. All the stuff I do is just fucking out of literally my, my imagination of just letting my hands do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, and then the color combos are just my eyes looking at it, but, no man, I don't. I don't think about it, and you know, I've been realizing that certain aspects of that are things that really help me with my music shit. Because if I were to just fucking, if I were to, if I were to calculate, like we were talking about before, even if I were to just calculate anything, I'd just be like, bro, bro, bro step back, bro. It gets very. It, it's the fun yeah. gets sucked out of it when you start to think about it. That's what I found. So these days, I just jump. Yeah. You just gotta jump. Bro, that's it. Like, and also, but I, I will say though, practicing was a fucking issue for me. <laughs> really? But, well, ah. like, I wasn't practicing because I was playing all the fucking time, or I wasn't. So, so, anyways, now it's like practicing. <laughs> you <do> shit. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. I like sorry. that.